Hi, welcome to this second part of group data in JASPA report. Here I will show you how to add subtotal in your JASPA report. And just as the review in my tutorial here, I have shown you how you could generate a report and group the data. And we could have something we just created this report and now what i'm going to show now is being able to obtain the subtotal for each category that we created before in order to do that let us go and create start another report here is where we previously stop it and if uh, you haven't you are not able to reach this level feel free to watch my previous uh, tutorial this one and now what we are going to do now is um, to go and add the group footer in the previous tutorial we minimize it now we can just come right click this uh, group here and maximize the height here we have maximized the height then we can now try to design it again because this is where our total is going to be shown. So we can stop here. Now at this level now, what we can do is um, to take uh, one rectangle here for the design. We just take this rectangle and try to put it somewhere here okay <clears throat> here is that then the next scene now we can add one static text field here where we'll call it so total subtotal we just change some fonts we can use simple and the size we can keep it to 24 <coughs> here is our subtotal title then then the next thing that we do now is to add A variable here we create one variable where we we'll name this group that will take the sum of each group so we can call it group let us call it group sum and here we take as big decimal then in the reset type we want to reset at the end of each group you would like to reset the group sum to zero if we keep this one it will go incremental but we have to set this one to group remember then what do you want to sum First here, what do you want to calculate? You want to calculate the sum of what? Which field? You want to take the sum of the buy price. So, no, it hasn't come. So, try to make sure that it appear on the top here, this top area here. And after that, you get it here appearing in this field. So what we are doing now is that we have created a variable of type big integer that will sum this price and the sum will be reset at the end of each group. So that is it now. The next thing that we would like to add now is uh, the 
the text field here we like to add the text field sorry it's the text field that we just added we like to design it a bit we want everything to appear to the right numbers will appear from the right and we also want to change the font to simple and also here to change the size to 24 Then now, if it is correct now, we have to add our variable inside this. We can just double click inside. Then now we come here to the variables here and take group sum. That will appear inside this area. So here is our total. And here is a text field that will show the sum, the group sum of each group or each group category. So when that one is done, we can now go to the preview. And if you just try to move, you can see this subtotal here. And if you go again, you can see again this is all the total from this group and the same thing goes you can see the total of each group so you could also verify all this thing if you want but yeah that is it and uh, what else can we say this is how you can add the group um, total subtotal in this uh, report i hope that you like this video do not forget and stay tuned for the next tutorial on jasper report and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel do not forget to do that stay tuned bye